so welcome to your monthly taroscope. Yes, I'm doing things a bit differently. If you're looking for your pure astrology video, that is coming and that will be just astrology. I'm going to separate them, tarot from astrology, although I have to say, as well as being a tarot reader and a psychic, I am an astrologer fundamentally and so I may be drawing a little bit of the wisdom of the astrology of this month within my tarot reading. Now remember, this is a general reading. If I was to give you a psychic tarot reading, it would be super specific to you. It would talk about the ins and outs and details of your personal and intimate relationships, past, present and future. But this is generic. So it may be for you. There may symbolically be things that you relate to. It may connect to you on a synchronistic level and there may be great truths here for you but it is general and yes it is for your sun sign your moon sign or your rising sign let's go hi cancer do go and listen to your horoscope video as well your astrology video because there's some interesting stuff happening right like uranus is shifting signs are bringing about all sorts of surprises with who you mix with who you collaborate with and who you consider your clan on top of that you've got a new moon in your adventure zone so all sorts of adventures are possible and a new way of seeing the world and then you have a super moon in your home environment so there's lots of juicy bits and pieces for you there well, let's see if that's backed up by the tarot what's going on for you um cancer in march Wow, you're definitely at a crossroads. And you know, the card you've got there, in your center of your being is the Knight of Wands. So you are galloping towards a new adventure and you may meet a fire sign who is uh, very intense and wants to take you by the hand and say, come on, let's go and play. Let's go and do something different. Let's explore together. Well, there's also maybe an ex around you or somebody whose energy with energy is trying to come back in or is just going out who's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn much more grounded materialistic into money uh, likes things and is less of a free spirit uh, is a bit more kind of straight laced and ego uh, you've overcome a difficult situation with that person whether they're a lover whether they're a friend a business associate there may be some legal problems or you felt there was an injustice by the end of the day I'm getting the high priestess on that situation so you evolved, transformed, intuited what was going on and you learned a valuable lesson uh, via, you know, people that you felt injustice with. When you trust your intuition, you don't get involved in those scenarios anyway. And it's very important for the next phase of your life that you trust your gut instinct. Now, if you think about the last person that betrayed you, when you met them, if you were honest with yourself, wasn't there this kind of flutter of distrust? Tiny little butterfly wings of instinct within you and you were like mm. but you ignored it and trick trotted into it anyway um or maybe you listened to it but you still went into it whatever the case um please in march use your intuition mercury um is retrograde as well and um, actually it particularly might affect you in terms of travel etc etc so if you are going on this adventure that is indicated in both your tarot and your astrology make sure you plan carefully otherwise you could get disappointed someone doesn't turn up someone's late you miss each other you know you go to different restaurants to meet and it's all a bit of a nightmare um you're really trying hard to change and to reach this position of, of transformation and going in a new direction you've already had a revelation and there's something happening this month which is a bit like a twist of fate you know sometimes we bump into someone or there's a strange coincidence and we sense in our being that this means something more uh, the wheel is turning. You've got the wheel of fortune here. The wheel is turning uh, and bringing a situation to you. And it needs you to go within and really look at it for what it is. It may even be that you realise that there's someone that you can't trust. It may be that you are, you know, spending time on your own figuring things out. And something happens around that time when you're feeling on your own. But it's to push you forward. Um, it, it's almost... It feels to me as if there might be someone you've known a very long time or you have a very deep connection with. Uh, maybe it's a past life connection or it's someone you've even known since you were a kid. And you feel that the energy has shifted. Now, it's very difficult to move on from those relationships. 
but there's going to be an awakening to who in your life is here to stay and who is going forward towards this adventure, towards this transformation. And there are new, there are people coming in and people going out, but you are not very clear because Mercury is retrograde. What is going on? Now, Mercury is retrograde for a position of you, which I always call the truth monster. So there's a lot of people just blurbing out the truth. Maybe they're pissed, maybe they're drunk, had a few tequilas, too many Prosecco, whatever. And suddenly they tell you something that you didn't know. Or they say something that you feel is critical. You know, if that happens, just be aware. Don't necessarily say anything now, if you can help it, because you're going through these fabulous changes and it also looks like there's uh, either you're studying something new or you're changing jobs or you're doing something which is gonna be very different or, or feel very different to what you're doing now. And you just keep things to yourself. Don't get involved in any drama when you've got other things on the go. But there are lots of aggressive people that have been bothering you. It may even be like a brother or someone, like a male friend who's just aggressive in general, not necessarily towards you. If they are aggressive towards you, seek help immediately, get support uh, and find your way out of that situation. But it may be that they're just, you know, they walk in the room and they got that aggressive energy and you're very sensitive to that. You're like, oh my God, you know, I can't handle this, you know. And, and it feels like it's weighing you down, but you're finding a solution to that, whether you, you stop having them in, in your home, whether you stop going to their home, whether you kind of withdraw a bit from that person, but you're not open to any aggressive energy this month. You're open to kind of meditating, feeling where you want to go next, seeing this new pathway open uh, above you. Now, that if there has been some problems around your family, the outcome, well, the outcome is feeling a bit trapped in a family dynamic. It may be that you're feeling you can't move or do anything drastic because you're supportive of someone in your family or your extended family uh, and you've been feeling a bit trapped, but there's some kind of celebration or shift in that energy. It's not instant. It doesn't mean that you can just do what you want instantly, but you can take your, your, your you know, like you're giving all your, your energy to, to uh, somebody in need. And when you bring it back, then you can focus on what you want to do work-wise. Your relationships look really good towards the end of the month. Although there is an upheaval there. It's like a, a shift of perception that feels quite dramatic. And then you, it's almost like you have to have this upheaval and res, revelation so that you can then build solid foundations. You know, it, you know, sometimes we don't see what's in front of us. And then when we do see it, suddenly we are in the real reality, not a pretend reality or a reality that we've created to feel safe within ourselves. So yes, there may be in your outcome towards the end of the month, an upheaval, but it leads to you feeling much more secure in yourself. And also by the end of the month, uh, I would say you have the potential to have more abundance than the beginning of the month. Take care, gorgeous. Oh, come see me on Instagram, at Michelle Knight, where we can interact and connect on a much more intimate level. And I do daily um, tarot, etc., etc., And also horoscope.co.uk, stuffed with free astrology, including free compatibility, blah, blah, blah. Lots of love, see you soon.